Um, I think something that's on my mind is just like out of shield things I've kind of been struggling with. It's hard to tell sometimes if it's like, you know, online. Obviously, there's so many different variables it could be. Um, but yeah, knowing which of Peach's out of shield options are actually safe. And if I'm doing something that's unsafe, if it's because I'm either mis-executing or like choosing the wrong option, I guess. Yeah, so let's t let's actually dig into that a little bit. So, sure. Um, are there specific out of shield actions that you find difficult, like difficult compared yeah. to others? Okay, so which ones? Definitely. So, um, I've been really trying to work on the uh, tap jump buffer jump, like jump out of shield, and I can't seem to get the timing of that consistent. I usually do like if I'm doing like FC aerials out of shield, I'm just using like uh, Y, okay, for float. And that is, I'm very solid at that and have been for a long time, but now I'm just trying to get more of the like sub float out of shield, G DJ out of shield, even, you know, like short hop near out of shield with the tap jump buffer. And I'm mm -hmm. uh, struggling to get those. Okay. So I guess my question here would be um, why are you, what's like, so I know that like tap jump buffer is pretty useful. Like that's, I'm assuming that's for, um, like sub floats mm -hmm. yeah sub floats and then like i've just been watching a lot of wally um so like wally gets a lot of like sub float stuff out of shield and then also um like instant short hop nair mm -hmm. out of shield sort of thing okay okay so i guess for do are you more comfortable i guess the big question i'd have is are you more comfortable with button like with why yeah it's definitely, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I've been using that for as long as I've been playing, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, like, switching an entire jump method, that might be, that might just not be something that, like, that's going to take a lot of time in general, um, especially yeah. if you're not used to doing it. Um, I guess one thing I'd, I'd wonder here is, um, where, is it that you're too late? Is it that you're too early? Like, do you have a scope, like, a sense for wh for when this happens? Um, I'm not always sure if I'm too late or too early. I mean, I think it's usually because I'm too early. Um, because I'll I'll press the input, but the shield just will. You know, it'll either like lean up as if I'm shield angling, or I just like won't get the jump out at all. And I notice it especially versus like versus like Falco and Sheik. Um, after they hit me with an attack that I feel like I should definitely be able to, you know, at least like jump out of shield. Not that I would ever just want to like do a raw jump, but like I sometimes have tested online, just like trying to do a jump out of shield, like a frame one, and with the tap jump. And sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Uh, I also feel like my 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 computer has been running melee pretty slowly for whatever reason lately. So like, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Did it update recently or something? No, I don't quite know what the what the issue is. But like since our last lesson, um. It's just been like much laggy, or it feels a lot laggier than normal. Hmm. Did we have to? Do, we didn't have to. Did we have to do any sound settings changes? Like change to was like change. We did. Yeah. That might. That honestly might be contributing to it. Because like, oh, did really? you like? What did you change in terms of the sound settings? Like, did you turn like a uh, wasabi off or anything? No, I um I use like a like a sound routing app. For because you know I, I teach a lot of like vocal lessons and stuff at home, so I, I'll use a sound routing app for that. Uh, but aside from when I'm doing like Discord calls, I'm not usually using any sound stuff when I'm playing. Okay, so maybe it's not that. What I would suggest though is let's get some let's get some data. So can you open okay. Uncle Punch for me? Yeah. Excellent. And then share your screen, and we'll go from there. Great. That. Uncle Punch. And then share screen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Uh, it's not showing up for some reason. Should be in like the bottom like left of the disc of Discord. Or like in the top. Or like I see the I see the um, oh screens here we go. 
You could also share the application. Like it should have like in the applications, it should also have like Slippy there, or, like or like no, Uncle Punch there as well. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that one's actually less like computer intensive because it's just sharing the program. I wonder if it's a Mac thing because I remember having this issue before. Mm. Um, let me let me try to share the screen sure. and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then first off, you'll see that. And then do you see that? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, I want to turn the music off. Sure. Because I can't actually really hear you very well. Uh, the funny so... thing is, I can't actually hear. The, I can't actually hear the game right now. Oh really? Uh, music off. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I see what you mean about the slowness. Do you have like the task like the ta like a uh, Apple has like a the activity um, monitor? Yeah. What is it? What does the activity monitor say? Let's see. Um, it doesn't look like we're a crazy CPU. I mean, granted, I'm not actually playing a game right now, but it doesn't look. Maybe should I go to a level and just like yeah, yeah have yeah. it open? Uh, brain, brain. Event match, yep. And let's go to, uh, let's actually go to reversal training. Oh, okay. Uh, and we can use any common character for this. Perfect. Yeah, Stage preference? What, uh, final destination's fine. So I just want, he's just going to attack, so I want you to, like, just tap jump out of it. Just a tap jump. Okay, so a little early, a little late, that's okay. Remember, so that's perfect. Okay, just keep, just keep doing those, do a few more of those. So what are you learning about the motion as you're doing this? Um, well, cause I know to look out for the shield disappearing, but like, uh, I mean, like, it's a very fast... That happens really quickly, so it's that helps us when we're under... Pr like, that helps us a little bit. Like, it helps our eyes have something to look for and know yeah. what's coming. But, like, it's not something we can use as, like, a reaction point foundation. Um, sure. It's just more like an indicator when we're in scraps and stuff that we're actionable. Um, so what I would say here is try to, like, just get a... Shield stun is based on damage. So okay. let's have him do his fair. So like pause and then let's get over to, yeah, forward air. Perfect. And then just block here. Oops. Like, so this would be, he's doing, um, yeah, he's doing um close fares. So these are going to have a certain amount of stun to them because they're all like, it does 10. But if you use, um, if you make him go further back by like um, using the D pad, so he tipper fares. Is that too far? No, you're good. A little closer. Oops. See, that's like that one was longer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, yeah, I'll get that shield angle thing if I'm too early. I think. Yeah. But it's based on the damage of the move, so this has a longer window. So then, which equates to I should be doing it later, yeah, right? Exactly. You have to adjust for the attack for the time of the move for the damage of the move. So, like, if you bring him really close, if you like, if you just like run towards him when you do it, um, so that he like sent like hits you. Yeah, like that's going to be a faster timing than if you're all the way than if you're all the way back there and he tips you. Sure. Oops. So so out of shield timings, honestly, like they're not just as simple as just like act at the perfect time every time, because especially when you have moves that have like multiple hitboxes, there's certain yeah. concessions that you kind of have to make in order to because it's not reactable whether they like soft hit fair you or tip fair you at these very like fine middle middle spacings where they could do either with just like a slight drift forward or a slight drift back like they change it right sure um so right. it's that is a really big component of this like you can't do everything perfectly without of shield just because the attacker has too much control of the situation 
So one compromise I might make is just acting a little, like trying to like act based on in general off the strong hit. That would be one starting point. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, because then you you will still get it on the strong hit, but you will and you'll be a little late on the weak hit, and that sucks. But like, it's you know, and like as you get as you get better at identif distinguishing them, maybe you act faster on the weak hit too. But like, yeah. you know, that's like a like there's a lot that goes into this. It's not just like do the perfect thing. Sure. How are you finding this? Like when we approach it this way, though. That definitely makes sense. I'll have to like internalize it uh like um feel wise but the idea definitely makes sense uh because like uh, something that definitely happens also especially versus falco is sometimes i'll really think that something is punishable mm -hmm. and then it turns out that it's not like the auto cancel back air always gets me because it always fe it feels so punishable um and yeah, it's one of those things that I can't always tell. And this might just be a knowledge gap, but I can't always tell if it's like a mis-execution or just you can't actually punish that, given whatever the circumstances. Yeah, no, that's good. That's um, Falco's auto-cancel back here is an interesting one. So I would say, mm, what do you think makes it? What do you, if you had to guess, because like Falco auto-cancel back here, he has to do it early one way or like no matter what. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you think makes it punishable versus not punishable? Um, if he's, well, doesn't it only auto cancel if he finishes the animation, like the actual back air animation? Is that why the auto cancel works? No, because like moves can have auto cancel windows and still have duration. Like think about Marth Snare, right? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, then I'm not sure. So every move, well, not every move, but moves, ge aerials generally have an auto cancel window as part of their, like, as part of their, like, how they're built. Mm -hmm. um, so for Falco's, here, actually, I will, I will show you my screen because I will do a demonstration. Okay. Uh, where's Dolphin? There we go. Uncle Punch, blue, 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 blue. <laughs> All right, can you see what I've got? Um, but can you see my end? Yes. Perfect. So let's do attack on shield. And where is the bird? Let me just picture this. I don't know if I have attack on shield. Is that a new? Yeah, you should have it. So think about auto cancel back here. The way it works is that like I have to like do it while rising, right? Like I have if I because if I do it while falling. You know, I'll cancel. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have to do it while going up. There's a little bit of leniency. Like, you'll notice I can fast fall it. But I have to fast fall it pretty late. So what that means is that, like, there I don't have to necessarily do it on the first frame of Airborne. But okay. I, ca I can't... I don't have a ton of time to dawdle, though. Sure. Um, so how does this, like, translate to frame advantage? Well, quite simply, we'll have her not do things. So you'll notice that, like, I can make this area, this back here pretty safe if I want it to be. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm doing here to make it safe is I am, like, I'm falling with the weak hit. So, oh, okay. So you notice it's only, like, negative three, right? But if I, if I jump into it with the strong hit... Like, while I'm going up, because of all this extra travel time that I have coming down, like, right. I can't make it as safe. That's so counterintuitive, because, it, it, like, in my brain, it feels like the stronger hit would have more shields done, so it would be more safe. I, I, but what you're saying makes sense, but, like, it goes against what my instinct would think. Yeah, no, and, like, the, I get where you're coming from, but, yeah, like, when I do these right, like, even if I get the, like, mini fast fall I can do at the end... The best I can get is like I'm getting is like 14, right? Like negative yeah. 14, which is like very punishable. Wow. But if I do it like, if I do it like this, no, um, like this, if I do it falling with the weak hit into it. Wow. Yeah. Like negative six, that still beats the shield grab. But negative 13, because like again, I did it 
I did it while with the strong hit while going up. Negative eight, mm. negative five, negative eight. You could get me, but like, you see what I mean? Like, it's really just like, where does, where am I hitting you in like Falco's like fall path? Right. So in general, with shield pressure, if you are at the end of somebody's fault like aerial path, they're going to be able to get you. Like, you can even get like, mm. you can get some pretty absurd numbers with this thing, like negative three, negative two, like negative two. If I do. yeah. So negative six? Negative six, yep. Wow. So, like, and I'm not even doing these, like, perfectly. Negative one. <laughs> Unreal. Wow. So, really, it's just where are you relative to Falco's short hop back air path? Like, are you at the Ooh. beginning of it, or are you at the end of it? Hmm, okay. So, th so that's, like, a... That's a being aware of spacing thing once you enter shield. Mm -hmm. Like knowing where his back air is going to be if he does it from where he is. Correct. Okay, got it. Well, like think about like think about the motion of his back jump and I think we're in doing the uh the Discord thing has done the thing where it's like a vortex or something cuz like Oh yeah. Not that it's a problem, I just yeah, it's funny when Oh, I was I didn't realize I was still sharing my Yeah. It's all good. Um but yeah, so what I was going to say here is it's more about just where like the it's more about where the we are in each other like where you are in falco's like little like hop are you mm -hmm. at the, like is he gonna hit you in the beginning of his hop or does he hit you in the end of his hop because remember his back ear comes out at a pretty static time because of the risk the, because of what he has to do in order to short hop auto cancel back ear so yeah it's like did you see was it a strong hit that hit you while he was going up or was it a weak hit that hit your shield when he was coming down because if it's the latter you probably just have to hold block if it yeah. is the first one, then enjoy your free hit. Because that also beats the the subsequent shine would be roll, right? Uh, it depends on how I did it. Like on the ones where I was like negative one, negative two, negative three. Yeah, it'll beat it. Uh, mm -hmm. No, negative one or two, it'll beat it. Um, if it's negative three or better. No, if it's negative three or more, then the roll will come out. Um, and at that point, it's just whether or not I wave dash in the direction you're moving. Got it. Okay. And then another question about that situation is something I think that happens to me is, uh, you know, like the Falco shield pressure mix up game. Once they hit you on shield with shine, are they going to do it once or twice or wave dash back, blah, blah, blah. But the one that I wonder about is auto cancel back air shine turnaround grab. Oh, so if there's shine turnaround grabbing, uh, you're allowed to contest that. Okay. Because shine, like shine, turnaround grab works with a plus two advantage at like full power, um, but your like it takes two frame. Basically, they're like the two, the plus two that they have on the shine on the shine grab on on a, on a forward facing shine grab is lost by the turnaround. Oh, okay. So you can like you're technically tied in that situation. Um like they're you're both plus minus zero essentially if you both grab. So uh yeah, you're allowed and that's assuming that his shine is like fresh or like it's it's at seven or eight damage killed. basically. Um uh -huh. so you have things to work with there. Like I you're waved like you could wave dash out a shield there, you could okay. spot dodge there, um, you could shield grab if you're if he's staled to the next um, shield stun integer, or if you're at, or if you're just player one, um, yeah, and you'll win that draw. So you could also leverage the umbrella. Like umbrella, I think has a bit of mm. invincibility on startup, so that'll work. Well, yeah, you, you got because he's like taxed his um, his frame advantage. You have all, actually have a lot of options. Is it possible to parasol out a shield without going through jump squat, or do you have to jump first? You, I feel like you, have to jump you, first, you do right? have to jump first, but you're only you can it's like a it's like JC up smash. You only have to let you can cancel any part of the jump squat with it. So like Oh, only, I didn't know that. It only costs you one frame to do it. Cool. I did not know that. Yeah. Like if you jump assuming you here, like uh yeah, unpause here. Like let's have let's try to umbrella out of shield on him. Like let's get close to him. Uh, do reverse. Like up B. Like your toy? No, no, no. Up B and then turn around as you go up. Yeah, so then get closer. Like, you'll have to dash. There oh. we go. Oh. 
Oops. Oops. Not bad. Yeah, he's just doing things that are like pretty safe, but like, and we're not perfect. But like, you can see, like, you can see, like, there we go. Yeah. That's really useful when you have turnip, by the way. Like on respawn, like if a spacey gets in on you and you happen to be on the ground or something while holding turnip, you can still umbrella. Oh sure. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the the canceling it with canceling the jump squat is a big revelation. I never knew you could do that. Yeah, that's how you JC up smash. Like you could like that's how you could you could dash JC up smash here. Just like. Maybe in like training lab, like just yeah. Have you have you ever like? Um... I knew I knew about the I knew about the JC up smash. Um, okay. But I but I didn't know about the the up B. other one. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. So yeah, umbrella umbrella I think is a really good out of shield option, especially when you've got like when at low percent when people when you've got somebody cornered. Like mm -hmm. the high base knockback is really good if they di away from like if they di away from it they just sometimes die or like go into like a super exploitable position. Um, right. It has a lot of yeah, it's just really good. Um, it's all if they get launched by it, it's not like that's bad, you know. Um, and yeah, like right. it's it's really just the high power in the early game is just really valuable. I think it breaks Yoshi's armor too at like some stupid percent. Like. Wow. It's it's a really really it's a niche move, but it really has a lot of really useful utilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. That's yeah. that's good info. Yeah. So I know we kind of like talked like so with tap jump. Um, mm -hmm. I know that we like kind of wound up talking more about just how shield stun works in general and getting a yeah. better sense of like how to how to like decide like how to time our things with that in mind. Um, I know you said that things are a little laggy, or like things are not like are, like melee is running kind of poorly. Um, but do you think that you'd be up to try playing some games and like implementing this, or do you think that's like a little too much to ask? No, no, I'm you? I'm I'm totally down. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna stop watching. You can stop sharing your screen, and okay. we'll use this spectator. We'll use the spectator code, and we'll just do this in unranked. I think. Great. Uh, stop streaming, and then where's that? Yeah. Uh, for the the for the usage monitor, I would keep I would keep an eye on that the next time, like when you're playing, cause like mm -hmm. like periodically check in on it, because I think that like there might be some. I know that like another person who is using a Mac, um, was having problems with it after like an iOS, like after like a Mac update. So yeah, I just, yeah. I try. I tend not to do the big updates because I've had so many problems with like just apps not working anymore and. Uh, but sometimes it's like they literally will force you to update. Um, okay, so let's go to the spectate thing. Mm -hmm. Start broadcast. There it is. Okay. Uh, should I hit ranked or unranked? Let's do let's do unranked because people attack more in unranked, so we'll get lots sure. of times to practice this. <laughs> I know it's like a bit of a silly reason, but I find the yeah. <laughs> no, I like that. Okay, right um, now I'm not. Nothing's coming through my screen. So are you in a match? No, not yet. Okay, cool. I, I just, heard. I just queued up. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, just let me know when you're in. Yep. Um. Yeah, I realized that I s see more steady improvement when I go back and forth between like watching a bunch of great Peach players and then playing um, and sort of oscillating between those two modes. And I've just been like watching a bunch of Wally and Triff lately and both of their out of shield thing is crazy. So I'm just trying to work on that because I think that uh, amidst like mid-level players, my out of shield game has been historically pretty strong but as i'm like trying to get better and better i'm realizing that it's actually not as good as it could be so i'm just trying to work on that 
Oh, that's a great goal. Like, and honestly, that's, like, super common, like, with people who are kind of, like, transitioning from, like, mid-level to high-level. Like, mm-hmm. that, that's, like, that is a super, super common growing pain. Like, the thing I was really good at is just, like, not the thing that, like... Yeah, I'm just, it's just not a, I'm not as good as it as I used to be. Like, as I, get, as I used to be relative to the field. Happens yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, this is kind of taking a while. Let me... Is there an update? Uh, no, I think, um... It's just slow day. Yeah, it's just a slow day. I feel like there was something else I was going to ask. Um, something about Sheik, which was... No, I left my brain. Okay, I just uh, queued up with a Jigglypuff. Okay, so I don't have it on my screen yet. Hopefully. Oh, you don't? Yeah, hopefully it comes through soon. Let me just refresh and make sure that you're broadcasting. Okay. Why would it not be working? Wait, I think I know why. Let me just refresh and relaunch it. Yep. The air mix-ups are so crazy with this character. They are. Okay. So I think what happened was... I think I know what happened. I had I had Dolphin okay. running while I was like while we were doing launching that. So I'm just oh, gonna, gotcha. yeah I'm just gonna close and hopefully refresh and hopefully it works now. Wow, is that real? Hmm. Yeah, that was definitely real. Drill up smash. Oh yeah, drill up smash definitely works. Yeah. There we go. Okay. After this game, I'm just gonna ask you to like refresh the like redo the thing. Yeah, do redo that because. Should I just like leave the game? Yeah, I mean, if you don't like, if you can, yeah. it's just a yeah, slow yeah, yeah, all good. GG's. Um. Yeah. It's not broadcast. Same code. Yeah, it should be the same code. And I'm just making sure nothing else is open that could be running the game. So. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back to it. Sorry about that. Okay, all good. Uh, all right, que- queuing back up. Perfect. Um, one thing that I'm, I'm, and this has sort of been constant. Okay, I'm uh, queued up with a Falco just now. Do you see the game? Yep. Cool. I feel like I played this person a bunch yesterday. Oh, and they were kind of trolly. I remember they were just doing a bunch of random down airs. That's what passes. That's what. That's what passes for trolling. <laughs> or just like just being like, like just dead, dead inside. <laughs> try to let, something fun. Try to pull like he's shooting only high lasers. Pull turnip on it. Oh. Right, because it crouches beneath. Yeah. Like if you're, yeah, if he's like far away. Also getting a lot of missed dashes. Hmm. Does it feel like slow right now? Um, uh, kind of, yeah. Not, not crazy. Not as bad as it has been before. Do you have other programs running? Only like tiny ones. But I'll I'll go ahead and close them. I close all but. Actually, should I close Slippy Launcher when I'm playing? No, because that'll close the game. Oops. Like the yeah. two of them are connected to each other. Okay. Yeah. Just then, I try to DJL. And like the thing is, the the actual motion of doing the DJL is like totally comfortable for me. Like using tap jump for that feels totally comfortable. It's just the timing of it is not all the way there. So like the way I would think of it is, you t- you are doing the the tap jump when you would shield grab. Oh okay. Interesting.
Because like it's not like it's not that you start moving at the time at that time and like at the time that at the ch of the, ch the shield grab takes place. It's that you start the action at that time, which is, means that like the first thing goes there. Oh, nice uh, side B. You could probably hyper float out near him actually for those. For those lasers? Yeah. Like at certain spacings. Yeah, I was trying to jump that entire time. Hmm. And just didn't. I feel like I was mashing. Although sometimes, sometimes it feels like I'm mashing and I'm not even pressing the button, so it might have just been that. That was clean. Thank you. That's like the type of edge guard I think that like you've gotten way better at. Like just like the system. Go down. The systematic ones, like basically you just like pathed him to like into a very specific, like you passed him into a general area that where you can just kill him. You confirmed where he was, and then you just like took the hit, and, and he was dead. Sure. Like, it's the, it's not like a specific, like, it's not like that's the spot. It's more like that general, like, pattern of, like, checkmating him, basically. Sure. Because I feel like before you would have, like, you, there would have been hesitation as to, like, what to do after hitting, like, the aerial that put him there. Yeah. Oops. But this time. Yeah, so I, I, I missed a bunch of jumps just now. Okay. okay they quit out. Um, yeah, and it happens a lot too when I'm trying to like, like uh, jump out of hit stun or like air dodge out of like falcon uh, down throw, and I feel like it doesn't happen as much on LAN. And I haven't, you know, I haven't clinically tested it, but if I'm just going on vibes, I f it feels like it doesn't happen as much on LAN that as it does online. So that's why I'm like, maybe it's not a real problem, but I don't actually know. I mean, like, it could just be that, like, like, he's just a very technical character. A lot of her things are, like, very precise. It could just mm -hmm. be that this is, like, with with how computer setups vary and such, um, yeah. there could just be, like, a little bit of lag that is throwing off some of your timings, and mm -hmm. you're just, like, playing slightly, like, there's just something off about this, about yeah. this play. That could happen. Um, yeah, it's, are you still finding online to be a useful like practice tool i am that's the thing I, I keep coming back to it because i i feel like i'm able to implement stuff um and yeah i do feel like it helps um and also i haven't been able to go to any brackets over the over the last like two weeks um other than the one in new york that i went to yeah but yeah so i i do feel like online is helping it's just hard to know when something doesn't go well what the reason is because of all the different variables yeah so one thing i would say is that like this slowness thing i think is like something that needs to be like figured out because like mm -hmm. i i think that like the audio stuff is something like the audio stuff with like um audio delay is like is something that i think we just kind of have to accept like either we turn wasabi on or we don't but with like you mm -hmm. but with i don't even know if max have wasabi no wasabi because care. like i don't think they do because it's a windows thing yeah yeah, so I think that, like, the audio delay is just some, kind of something we have to live with. Um, after that, um, the main thing is just, like, latency. And if it's uh -huh. if it's not running properly, then I think that's going to impact our practice. So it's more it's just figuring out what we can control, what we can't control, and, you know, the degree to which right. we can. Right. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I also, I think... It took me a little. It took me a little bit to get the like frustration out of my system, but I was like super bummed that I couldn't go to the uh, SoCal Star League thing after yeah. qualifying for it, because um, it just looked like a really cool time. Oh, uh, I think you would. I think that would have been such a good experience for you. Yeah, same. Yeah, and I was kind of watching it because you know I had I was in town, but I had uh, I had a show literally like in the smack dab in the middle of the day, and like that's exactly when brackets would have been happening. So like there was no way to make it work. Um, so I think I was a little bit like <laughs> kind of sad boy about that mm -hmm. melee wise and I was kind of just taking it out on the unranked masses but now I feel a lot more you know 
That was crazy pressure. Oh, but... I, I want okay. So one thing about or, about input organization, after okay. you up throw him, do not like your next action should always be like either dash in some like dash in some direction or like grabbing him or something, because like after up throw, even if he goes onto the side platform, you don't want to like float up, like any. You still have to move towards the side platform if he goes there to like get him. So what I would say is try to like make your next action after up throw always be dash. At those middle okay. percents, because you always it always has to be that for whatever you start. But a lot of times you jump first and stuff. But gotcha. The thing, yeah, like if he goes directly, ab if he goes above you, you can still rescue the situation if you dashed preemptively. You can't do that. Um, if you you can't do that when he goes to the side if you jumped too early. Got it. Okay. So after up throw, dash. dash. Like fall, just follow along with him. Follow along with your with your dash. And when he's like zero to like uh, yeah, here try it. See what I mean? Like, cause you could also yeah. have you could have chain grabbed him there, but and the chain grab would have required you to dash grab. <laughs> so right, like, right. even if we li like, you're also going in the right direction if you if you like don't recognize that you can chain grab him and like yeah, see what I mean? Oop, that could have slid that off. And then this is how we just make our pe no peach faster because we're like also getting dash jumps and stuff, which like means we're moving during jump squat. So if we need to like get into the air, we have that little burst of movement too. Like it's just like it's really it, it just adds efficiency. Sure. Nice float. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I stole it from Ryu. That looks like a Ryu boot play. Yeah. It's good though. Wow. Ah, oh, I missed oh. the fastball. I had it. You could have. You, right. uh, is it worth it to dare edge guard there with how slow she is to like get on the edge? Instead of going for the ledge grab. Yeah. Cause I'm not sure. Because the dare is pretty consistent if you like have the placement. I just worry sometimes that they're gonna burn you. Uh. Or, yeah, that they're going to burn me. And sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. And I'm not always sure, like... It's entirely based on... So it's based on where you, like, place the... It's based on where you place the down ear. Okay. So, so, like, you're not putting it over the edge. Really, what you're doing is... You know how, like, the how stages are, like, are slanted? Uh, like Yoshi's? Well, no, no, like this level. Like, the the, the edge of the stage. Like the the side of the stage. Oh, oh, like the wall. Yeah, exactly. So what you're doing is you're placing the down air a lot of times, like at the um, kind of like the lip of the bowl. Sure. Okay. So you're not actually so like. So like. Yeah, well, like kill him and like when you're ki when you're killing when he when he dies like you, I'll tell like we'll figure it out. Like okay, you see the white markings on the bottom of final destination. Yeah. Like, you're placing them there, in that spot. Oh, those little triangles, you mean? Yeah. Like, the ah. ones closest to the edge of the stage, you're placing it at, like, the middle of that. Ah, I meant to turn around. That's okay. Yeah, try it on the... If he goes to recover low on the next edge guard, try it. So it's, like, in, okay. the, in the middle... Yeah, like actually at the end of the white triangle, like the flat ed end of the white triangle. Yeah, like that. Exactly. I recommend doing it with yeah, that. Okay, wait, sorry. That down there right there, I felt like I could have shield grabbed that. Probably. I would have, I would have tried the dare thing there. Because you could land Oh, right. It. Try I to, yeah, just try, like, just try it in these games against this guy. Because, like, he's... He's sturdy enough that we can't take like that we can beat him if we want to but like it feels but like he uh, he'll win you know he he fights so yeah you went way too far forward so oh, don't pass the triangle yep exactly yeah because the whole thing is is remember her down air sticks below in front of her right so we're using the stage to protect ourselves 
I also see what you mean about doing the up throw and then dashing. It's good, right? Yeah. A lot of people don't think about like their input economy, like like what has to come in what order, but like it's one of the most useful things you can do for like improving tech skill cuz it just like lets you organize things and like make sure you have everything on hand when you need it. It's a really big thing for Sheik cuz she has like so many things that Nice. Yeah, it's it's huge for Sheik. Like the entire RTC t like her the entire like space animal matchup is just like figuring mm. out how to do that over and over and over again. Sure. Ooh, that up tilt or F tilt was not intentional. All right. Unintentional peach forward tilt and unintentional chic F smash are the two best moves in the game because they always <laughs> work. If you but you you as soon as you try to do them, they don't work. It's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> ah. That was the auto cancel. I just happened to be far enough, I think. The back air. Mm -hmm. Nice power shield. I like how, like, you. Because I remember when we were talking about the Falcon matchup, you mentioned that, like, power shielding into stuff was, like, a big. Like, was a thing that you really, like, were quite good at in, like, certain. Like, against certain moves and matchups. I'm really glad yeah. to see it's, like, becoming. It's kind of, like, working its way to be a bigger part of, like, other. Of, like, how you do other matchups. Um. Because, like, I know that you power shielded lasers and stuff, but, like, those moves, it's all just kind of coming together to make a more effective overall, like, Peach. It's really cool. Mm. I really like it. Hmm, thank you. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's, uh, I... So, okay. So the the things that came up in that match were the, um, the up throw, because often I'll go for up air. Mm -hmm. and try to go for a juggle sequence, but that only works if they either do no DI or, like, DI very barely. Yeah. Um, so the dash thing... Um, oh, they quit. Okay. Uh, and then the... Yeah, the thing is, you can still effect. you can still do those up airs, even if they, like, even if... As long as you dash in the right direction, or, like, don't... Like, because the whole idea with the dash is you dash the way they go. So if you don't see them go anywhere, you don't dash. So you can still get the, like, mm. up airs. It's just, if they do go to a side, then like, yeah, you're just structuring what the reaction point is. Like, are they far? Like, are they far in front? Are they far behind? If so, then do the thing. Mhm. Mm and then also just be ready to turn around or wave dash back or something if they look like they're gonna roll in. Mhm. Mm Got it. Okay. Um. Yeah. The, I feel like the those sorts of mix-ups. I'm realizing as like you get better and better become more and more crucial like i've been i think i told you but i've been having a lot of uh a lot more success in the marth matchup than like probably ever and uh i realize when i play marths that are at an even higher level that the things that were really strong mix-ups um at like mid level or even like mid high level suddenly become like just average or bad Yeah, no, I think that, but, but the one of the things about Marth is I think that Marth, people will, I'm going to get so much hate from the Falco players on YouTube, but whatever, it's fine. I'm Kirby Kazi, I can take the heat. Um, <laughs> I'm, Marth is a very honest character. Like, Marth is extremely honest. Like, the, the way that, like, he doesn't have, a, he doesn't have, like, an I delete you button, the way that, like, Fox does, or, like, Ice Claw, like, he doesn't have, like, a, a you just exploded, like, style combo game. Um... Everything he does is pretty interactive, honestly, all mm. in all. It's just the way that he's broken is that because of the sword, he wins all the attack, like, rock, paper, scissors. Like, he wins the attack based ties in, like, very, very, in a large, in way more positions than any other character. Um, when he, like, yeah, just because of how the, he, he has the best sword in the game. But, yeah. so his whole thing, though, is just creating those conditions. Like, the conditions where he just can, like, play his rigged rock, paper, scissor game over and over and over again with you but like it's clear that's what he's doing though in a way that isn't with like she can just like finds a grab at some she can falcon just find, like do similar things but then they just find a grab at like 90 and you explode like right. marth doesn't really have that so he has to just keep doing his game until he gets like a key hit 
And I think that that's like a... I find that a lot of people, once they start adding structure to their game, especially floaties, they start to kind of like not mind him so much for that reason. Because it's like, what he's doing is beatable. It's hard. It's good, but it's beatable. Right. Oop. Maybe he's trying to ASTI. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's supposed to be FC, out of shield. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I would have considered double jump land bet down smash personally. Oh sure. Someone actually, another peach player told me that exact same thing the other day. Yeah, honestly, that can be a good thing to, like, work on for, like, habits, um, like, for just, like, general input housekeeping. If you're the opponent's, like, not near you and you want to get out of shield, just try double jump landing instead of wave dashing sometimes. Oh, interesting. Wait, can you repeat that? When the opponent, when you're, when you want to get out of shield and the opponent's not fighting you because, like, they're dash dancing or something, try double jump landing instead of wave dashing. Oh, okay. Because it, yeah. you're, it, it's over on six if you do it perfectly. See what I mean? Yeah. This poor Marth is like... Oh no, that was not supposed to be a full hop. <laughs> nah, it's all good. But this Marth looks so confused by this. Yep. Oop. There we go. Yeah, it looks really Looking good. Too much. Because, like, you can enter your shield and exit it faster than any other character. Really? Yeah, because every other character has to do, like, wave dashes and shit. Oh, sure. And you can just, like, land in six. <laughs> like... <laughs> well, that's one, too, that, like, I never know when that's actually safe. But now that I know that, now that, I know that it's six, I can use that info. Because it's six, like, that means it is faster than a shield grab. It comes out the same frame that Falco's Shine Out of Shield does. Like, it finishes the same wow. frame that Falco's Shine Out of Shield hits. And the same frame that um, Samus's Down Smash hits. So if you think about how fast those are, like, that's when you're you're at, that's when you're out of sh finished, be like, exiting Shield. Mm-hmm. Instead of hogging him there, if you have an opportunity like that against this guy, what I want you yeah. to do is I want you to, like, just hit him... So you can, like, hit him below the stage and do the down air edge, and try the down air edge guard. Okay. Just so you can get used to it, because I think it's an important, like, part of the, the kill, like, the kill setup against these get these two. Like, sorry, against, like, Falco and Fox, that, like, we're not really using very effectively, and I get why, but, yeah, it's important that we learn it. Sure. Ah. Nice feedback. Ooh, that was so close. There you go. Can you see wow, I can't believe I lived that that whole set of interactions. I thought I was definitely a goner. Nah, I knew you were fine. He didn't get like the he didn't get a clean open like his opening wasn't clean. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the spot to do the thing. It's okay. And you, the re, what I like about the, what I like about practicing this way is that you like learn to see, you learn to spot when you like. It just makes you more observant, I think. Yeah, because you can see the interaction before it happens. Yeah. Oop. Oh, love that. Mm-hmm. That's like a put it out, presuming that they probably won't go for that. But then when they actually do, it's like, great, thank you. Oh. That back air was 
interesting. I'm also trying to get better at playing in the corner too, because that's like one thing that Triff absolutely excels at. Yeah, it's kind of insane how long he can last in the corner. What do you think it is that like causes him to be so good in the corner? Uh, it's like the way that he uses his, the different options. Like he'll he'll just straight up roll into into the ledge, or like he'll roll this way, like randomly or not randomly, but like he'll mix up things like that and like throwing out the occasional hitbox and like doing random short hop stuff. You know what's something good that I think that like something like old school that I think that like Triff is good at using. Um, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's somebody else I saw doing this, but I, for some reason, I associate him with spot dodge into like versus uh. like, like I feel like his spot dodges are really good because he like gets weak, he gets weak hit, I think, by like space animal back air or like nair at percents where like they don't knock over, and because of that happens, then like he's then able to like ASDI down down smash, like ASDI mm -hmm. down and counter hit. Because, like, the, the Nair at, like, 35 will knock him over if it's strong, but by spot dodging, it's not, right? So. Wow. Interesting. Like, that makes sense. Yeah, right? I feel like the, the float ASDI thing is something that I haven't really, I haven't really, like, opened that box yet. I just mean spot dodge, because, like, you're invincible for, like, like a little bit, right? But the, but oh, the, and you're already holding down. And yeah, but the spot and the strong hit comes out. Like, see, if we spot dodged that near, we would have gotten hit by the weak hit at the end of it. Interesting. Oop. Nope. Wow, that was good. Yeah, this guy's pretty, pretty solid. Good. This Falco's good. Love that. That has to feel so, like, I don't know. I don't know about you, but, like, I I, I feel so happy seeing you hit those. <laughs> yes, it, it does feel very good. Because this guy was solid. I, I think that, like, in the past, like, before we, like, kind of worked on structure, I think that he would have given us way more trouble. Yeah, I, I think so, too, honestly. Oh. Try the umbrella thing, like, if you've got turn if you've got the turnip, like, or just at low percent, it can be good, like, if he's really close. It doesn't have as sure. much nair range as nair or shield grab, so, like, that's kind of, like, the one... The, that's a reason not to do it, but, you know. Ooh, I really thought that grab was true. Fuck. It's all good. <laughs> it's all right, that happens. It's one way I find that helps to, like keep myself from like Ooh. losing my cool in matches or like just keep myself from like getting overwhelmed is to breathe when i get a hit or when they hit me hmm okay yeah that's a good tip see what i mean like it just keeps us calm oh Yeah, I knew using my double jump there was not the right call. Thank you. Ooh. That was a smart ledge grab. I like that. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I just, like, had a feeling. No, no, no. Trust those instincts. Ooh, okay. I give you, sometimes you, when you know, you know. Sometimes when you know... You know. If you don't. You know what? Better to try than be wrong than to not try. Yeah. Nice power shield. Maybe? Please? Yes. Nice. Using the... Yeah, I like the fair there. Because, yeah, it has, it's still, at, like, is below 100, so it ha it, you're using the high base power effectively there. Ooh. Uh, something that happens, too, that I've been noticing recently is I get poked by things that really, truly don't feel like they should poke me. 
Hmm. When does it usually happen? Like, um... Like, sometimes I'll get poked by, like, a Marth up till when I'm definitely angling the shield down, and it feels like I have, like, enough shield for that not to happen. It might be because you're angling the shield down. Whoa, really? Yeah, so, like, the thing is, the way that the shields work in this game is that it... it it has to hit you, you, but without hitting your, any part of your, like, shield. So by angling the shield down, you might be exposing another part of your hurt box that is, like, now opened up. That is, like, because, like, again, it's his sword kind of, like, prior... I'll check his... I'll check the frame data real quick, because I'm going to check which which hitbox is prioritized. But, yeah, that actually does make sense to me. Um, let's see here. Up tilt. So which one is the ID zero? Is it the furthest one? It's gotta be the furthest one, right? No, ID three. So what's the red hit? Okay. So that's the one it picks. Okay. So yeah, that actually does make sense. It's mainly on the low side platforms, I bet, isn't it? Like when you're on Pokemon Stadium? Yeah, or, exactly. Okay. okay, so this is a mechanics thing. So what's going on here is the sword, like, the way that Marth's sword works is that the hitbox around his hand on his up tilt, um, like, it's it's where the, the his hand and the hilt meet. Yeah, like, in between, like, yeah, it's the bottom of the sword blade and, like, to, to like, where his hand, no, to, like, just where his um, arm starts. Um, okay. If that part of the hitbox touches peach without a nut without um making contact with her shield that is what causes the shield poke um Whoa. so a lot of so if there's a p side of you that's exposed then that'll like as long as that part hits without touching your shield then that will do it and by angling your shield down you're often pulling your shield coverage away from other parts of you so that i think wow. actually does make sense it's so, just it's just a it's just like a micro thing don't and would do you think that's like across the board? Like I should like if I'm on plat and someone's under me that I shouldn't angle down, or is it like specifically with that? It's like I think you'd have to angle down and towards him. Down and towards. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So like angling straight down because of how much Peach's legs are exposed. Like I'm thinking that one of your legs is getting hit because of that. So I would just angle down and towards him, and I think that's probably good with her in general because her legs are left pretty open overall. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I almost had it. All right. So I think that we have like something. So I'm going to make a note because I have somebody who's supposed to be this time, but I've told them to wait 10 minutes. So I'm just going to. Oh, make... OK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So after this game, we'll do our takeaways. But uh, I'm thinking I'm going to write them down now I'll, okay. while you're playing and we'll go over them then. Great. Oh, amazing, Nier. You hit with, like, the disjointed part, too, like, with her hand, where her hand is raised. The, yeah, the, like, diagonal one? Mm-hmm. Oh. The minigame. Oh, you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oops. No, wrong way! When you grab, yeah. let your stick reset to neutral before you do anything. Like when you're doing oh, the grab. Okay. Yeah. Like you can pummel. You, if you pummel, you can also like do it then if it's like a tight interaction. But yeah, like just try to let your stick reset to neutral before you do like before you do your throw or pop when you're doing the actual grab. Sure. I also just need to get my hyper floats consistent. I've been working on it for like three years. <laughs> I have a setup that feels good, but like in game, it just like eludes me. But that I think that ties into everything we've try, talked about today. Try, just try going slower. Like honestly, going a little slower is like a okay. Actually, they said 
I'll be there in a bit, too. I decided to make some lunch first. We probably haven't time for one more game with this person, because I want us to okay. try that, like, I, going I slow. just quit out from them, but maybe someone else can queue up. Yeah, let's queue up. Because, like, I, I want to try this, like, going slower thing with the hyper float. I think that is important. Ooh, Sheik. Okay, yeah, no, I'm really happy to see this character. Because, I, like, I want to, yeah, I want to troubleshoot this one. Okay, so she got us on a boost grab. Nice defense on the throw. Mm hmm. Oh, I thought that was going to be a dash attack. Nice. Ah, her down tilt is really, really good. And like a very good anti air. Um, I would like if you if I see her doing that, I'm thinking like I want to down smash her. Sure. Like if I notice her crouching when I'm in the air, I should maybe do like tomahawk down smash sort of thing. Um, or like even just like down air into down smash, near down smash, like just gotcha. or near crouch down smash, like anything like that. I want to like punish her for holding down like that. Oops. I would say hyper float and like that double jump landing out of shield thing would be like really good. Should be good versus Pete. No, Sheik. Because she like really sure. likes looking for specific openings against you. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Like a lot of. Sheik is kind of like Fox in that a lot of times like matchups against her are literally just like figure out the speed you need to go at and go like to the maximum of that speed. Of that like speed bracket. See, like, we rolled there to get out of shield, but, like, what I would say is, like, that's a good example of, like, where double jump landing out of shield or hyper floating is, like, so good because you just, like, present more of, like, a, like, an active threat, you know? Right, okay. Or, like, you're, well, one of them's an active threat, and the other one is just, like, it's done in six. Like, she has to, like, she can't just, like, reactively and, like, reactively punish you. Right, okay. You look so much better in this matchup. I know this Sheik is, like, not as good as you, but, like, this looks, this looks so very cleaned up. And I'm very happy to see it. It's definitely feeling it's definitely feeling okay today. Oh, I also played a really good cheek yesterday, and mm -hmm. so it's like fresh. Okay, perfect. One thing I one thing I'm noticing when you hit those weak nares um, at low percent, a lot of times it doesn't look like you know what the follow up is. Just keep nearing, just keep nearing her. Like if you're not sure, okay. if you're not sure, just keep nearing her um, because like. When you commit to dash attack and then she jumps above you or something, like it's mm -hmm. just there's just so much lag. So okay. Yeah. So let's let's close here. This is what I've got okay. so far, um, in terms of like big in terms of big things. Um, I know that there was more we went over, but what do you, what do you recall and what should we jot down? Um, just oh, uh, going for the max damage shield stun. Mm-hmm. When Timings, doing out of shield stuff. Um, on moves with ver uh, multiple hitboxes. Mm -hmm. um, hitboxes or damages. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I would also say uh, no, remember tap jump. No tap. Uh, when doing us when doing um, out of shield movements with um, with multi step input, the mm -hmm. first input goes where the shield grab goes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, aside from that. Up B oos, uh, when holding turnip, when holding turnip under pressure, still no under pressure is a good is a useful utility. And then aside from that, I honestly think that like most of what you have, your style looks good. I think that a mm -hmm. lot of what we need at this point is cleanup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like every yeah, that, that everything looks right. in order. Like for the most part, so this is now cleanup. Okay. Um. Yeah. And then. 
I guess once I once I clean up, then when I enter that next echelon, then I'll have like new things to work on because that's when like you you enter the new arena and then like people are better so like you need to develop new tools i guess yeah and i mean like depending on meta shifts how things go like there might be a new, there might be more like a cha- a need, like there might be a need for a, cha- a stylistic change like before then mm-hmm. it pro- might not be like as much as we've changed together in this batch but like mm-hmm. you know things happen but like the big thing here is you now know how to like kind of as- assess when those things are necessary and yeah. Ah, i think i think you got this awesome yeah thank you so much no problem later michael see ya have a good one